so i hope till now we are clearly on we clearly have an understanding of what is a balance sheet what is an income statement and so on and now we're going to see how does one uses the income statement analysis to defend or justify his project when the management has a different opinion so this is more going to be a case study kind of a thing so we're going to do a case study on using income statement to justify the project profitability obviously first of all as a project manager you should be clear in your mind that is the project profitable or not and for that you need to have certain competitions done which will be readily available with you so that when the management has the other opinion you can defend your project so let's look at this case study so let us assume a project manager mr x is being evaluated for his ongoing project which has been posting a reducing net profit person every quarter so now mr x project is uh, showing a negative net profit or you can say a loss every quarter on quarter so the management concluded that since the project profitability is going down it is better to discontinue the project now let's see how mr x is going to go and defend his project or you can say justify that his project is a profitable one whereas how did it turn out to be a negative one in the eyes of management okay so we're going to go to an example but now over here if you see i'm going to be doing a slight twist in the example till now all the things were pre-written in the sheets and we used to go through the slides and all now i'm going to build up the entire scenario in front of you guys okay so even you have a realistic example realistic feel of how the things are building up on a step-by-step -step basis okay so let's say the management <coughs> of the of Mr. X wants to discontinue his project. So they show him the records that this is how your project summary is being shown. So first of all, we'll say that the project manager, Mr. X received the following income statement summary based on which it was decided that his project is supposed to be discontinued. Okay, so here we're going to have our income items. This is for quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. Okay, perfect. A uh, couple of minutes more, guys. Just hold on. Okay, so he receives an amount of total sales value generated from his project, or you can also say it as a revenue that is expressed in terms of dollar value. Okay. Then we have the net profit for his projects month on month, uh, sorry, quarter on quarter basis. Then you have the net profit expressed in terms of percentage, which is a net profit divided by total revenue percentage. That's it. Okay. So how do you think things will build up? First, we have our numbers over here. 280,000. Just one second. I believe this whole formatting needs to be taken care of at once. 280,000 for quarter one. 286,000 a slight increase in the revenue and 300,000 in quarter 2. The net profit posted for quarter 1 was $42,000. For quarter 2 it's reducing $40,000 and for quarter 3 it remained the same. But if you see comparatively to the increase in revenue it's remaining the same. So ideally it is decreasing in that sense. Okay. In the relative sense it's decreasing. Now we'll calculate the percentage of this thing. That is the net profit divided by the profit percentage. That's 15 percent. Oh my bad. This I expressed in number values. We apply the same formula over here. Quarter two, quarter three. So as you can see, it's decreasing profits. Okay, the net profit percentage it's decreasing quarter on quarter. And based on this statement, based on this summary, the management is right in taking the call that you need to scrap the project because it's turning out to be a loss-making one. Better to stop it when you still have a chance than incur the entire loss and then regret. Right. Now let's see how Mr. X was able to defend his budget, defend his project over here. If he did not have the financial bandwidth, the financial understanding, obviously he would have said, it's fine. I do realize the project is making a loss quarter on quarter. It's better to shut it down. But here, because Mr. X has a brief insight, or you can say a detailed insight into how the financial worlds work, how the financial analysis is relevant to project management, he asks management, to give provide him with the detailed financial statement so he can do a postmortem of his project for himself and then come back with the result and then on asking for a detailed income statement summary he receives mr x receives the following okay this is going to be the same we'll use the same template over here the total revenue are going to remain the same then we have the cost of revenue that is all the direct cost 
then you get the cross margin on deducting the you don't worry about this thing this is i'm just trying to show you how things shape up so you have a realistic view i'll be explaining everything in detail once i finish my creation of the entire table okay just hold on for a while operating income then you have other expenses and then finally you have the net income oops okay We'll try to build a formula base way, okay? Okay, say. So for earning two hundred eighty thousand dollars, the cost of revenue was two hundred thousand dollars, and based on which you get a gross profit that is total sales or revenue minus the cost of revenue that gives you the gross margin. Then you have the operating expense of twenty five thousand dollars. You have operating income of fifty five thousand dollars. Okay, now operating income is basically gross margin minus the operating expenses that gives you the operating income. You have other expenses allocated to this project. That's fourteen thousand dollars. That gives you the net income of forty-one thousand dollars. Okay, okay. So I just realized I made a typo error over here. This one is supposed to be forty-one thousand dollars. This is supposed to be thirty-nine thousand dollars, and this is supposed to be thirty-eight thousand dollars. So now, if you're wondering why is this amount at the net profit Percentage not being changed, they do change over here, but they the fraction is changing. That's why it's just expressed in a zero decimal fact over here. If I increase a decimal point over here, so you see, if it was forty two thousand dollars, it comes to fifty one thousand dollars, and so on. But yeah, I'm just skipping it for safe side to map up with what computation I have made, so we have a quick understanding of the entire sum. So now for quarter two, the cost of revenue was increased marginally. So again, you have the formula base formula over here. That is going to be gross total revenue minus the cost of revenue that gives you the gross margin. You have the operating expenses at twenty three thousand dollars. They reduced in a way. Ideally, they reduced entirely. And then you have other in expenses of twenty three thousand dollars. So here, it's going to be operating income minus other expenses that gives you the net income of thirty nine thousand dollars. The same way we'll put it over here. The quarter three has a cost of revenue of two hundred five thousand dollars. That gives you the gross margin of twenty five. Operating expense of twenty six thousand dollars. That gives you the operating income of sixty nine thousand dollars. And other expenses allocated were six thirty one thousand dollars. That gives you the net income of thirty eight thousand dollars. Now this net income maps over here with the net profit over here. Ideally, both are the same amount. To be honest, okay. Now, based on this detailed analysis, Mr. X is now in a position to draw some conclusions, to pick up some ratios, and then go back to management and explain them where things have gone wrong and get a chance to continue the project, or then take a call with the management to discontinue the project. But till now, I hope you're clear on how you analyze the detailed statement over here. Once again, we'll go through it quickly. Your gross margin is nothing but total revenue, the sales minus the cost of revenue, minus the cost of generating that sales. Okay, minus the direct cost involved to fulfill those sales. Then you have the operating expenses reduced from the gross margin. Operating expenses are basically those expenses which are required to keep the project ongoing. Okay, for example, you need to buy some machinery for the project, specifically for this project, and you need to pay a rent every month, a license fee every month. That is a part of the operating expense to keep the machinery on and on, to maintain it on and on for this project. Then you have an operating income. Operating income is basically your gross margin minus your operating expenses that gives the operating income. Then you deduct the other expenses from your operating income. This could be anything, a common uh, HO, common head office expenses allocated throughout all the projects, an interest cost applicable, a blanket interest call applicable to all the projects because the financing is taken for the common benefit of everyone, and so on. That gives you the net income, final net income of. Forty-one thousand for quarter one, thirty-nine for quarter two, thirty-eight for quarter three. Now let's see how Mr. X was able to draw some meaningful insights in this and defend his budget and defend his project ideally. And that will study in the next session one-on-one -on -one what things are to be taken into account. For now, I hope you are clear with how we built up the entire thing, a summary of the income statement, and from that we went on and obtained an entire detail, uh, detail income statement format, income statement from the management to do a postmortem on why things should be stopped. I hope you're clear on how we went from a comprehensive income statement 
to a detailed income statement and look at the various components. Now we're going to do a complete financial postmortem of the detailed income statement. That is this part over here. Okay. So first let's begin with every uh, formula or every margin or the income uh, which is derived by deducting one component from the other. So first that is going to be a cross margin analysis done. So first of all, what is cross margin? How is gross cross margin derived? As a formula stated over here, revenue minus cost of revenue, that is this, minus this gives you the gross margin. So now we're going to compute the gross margin percentage first of all to determine is the gross margin percentage decreasing on a quarter by quarter basis? Is it stagnant? Same or is it increasing? Is ideally we are going to try to figure out is the cost of revenue increasing? Is that the factor why the net income is reducing every quarter and quarter? So let's begin with that thing over here. First of all, let me write down the formula over here for you. Gross margin equals to revenue uh, less cost of revenue. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to conduct a gross margin analysis. So this over here, which is going to be, we'll, look this, we'll take the same format over here. Gross margin. And we did one more. Okay. So here, we're going to replace this thing by gross margin percentage which is going to be the gross margin divided by the revenue that gives the percentage expressed in form of percentage over here gross margin divided by the revenue percentage the same one over here oh surprisingly this is increasing as you can see over here Gross margin for the quarter 1 was 29%, it increased to 30% in quarter 2 and 32% in quarter 3. So based on this analysis, one thing is for sure, gross margin is or the cost of revenue increase is not the factor for the decrease in the net profit. So what does this mean first of all, let's interpret this thing. So based on this analysis, we can say that the gross margin percentage has increased which means that the direct cost of the project, the direct cost, the cost of manufacturing the goods for the project is not the reason for the increase, uh, for the decrease in the net profit. Now, since the gross margin analysis did not work out, we'll increase our computation to the next part. That is going to be the operating income analysis. Now, in the same lines which we did for the gross margin over here, we're going to be figuring out that whether the operating income which is derived by reducing the operating expense from the gross margin. Is that responsible for the decrease in the net profit? Yes or no? We're going to come to the conclusion pretty soon like we did for the gross margin over here. I'll just copy the same template over here first of all. Ah, you guys just rely on the final version, okay? Don't need to be banging your heads around the mechanical works over here. Operating income is equal to your gross margin minus your operating expenses margin minus operating expenses so here we're going to be having now total revenues perfect we're going to be we don't need this cost of revenues we need the operating income so we're going to be putting this over here operating income equal to We'll try to do this all formula driven so it's easy for you guys to do on your own also. Bang, here we have it. It's supposed to be 20%, 22% and 23%. Okay, so again the operating income also, the operating income part is also increasing. One second. Huh? So based on this analysis, we can say that the operating income percentage is also increasing on a quarter by quarter basis so even operating expenses are not a reason for the decrease in the net profit of the project okay so that's how this competitions come in handy surely the operating income part over your uh, operating expenses which are incurred specifically for the op smooth operation of the project even they are not responsible for the reduction in net profit in fact there is an efficiency achieved in both the areas, the cost of revenue as well as the operating expenses because your cross margin and your operating income are rising quarter by quarter, are increasing quarter by quarter. They are not reducing, they are increasing quarter on quarter. So with this, we can conclude that even operating income is not a factor for reduction in the net profit. 
Now last expense item which is pending is this other expense analysis. So we'll try to interpret the other expenses over here. The other expenses they have increased drastically. Okay, you can say 14. It literally went to increase on a 50% over year 23,000. In fact, more than 50%. And from 23, it went to again on a higher level of 31,000. Now, the first of all, these other expenses are not relevant to the project. First of all, okay. So, the project manager X cannot be blamed for the increase increase in the other expenses. In fact, you can say that if project manager X project did not exist, the other expenses will be a burden on the other projects because of the uh, operating income of uh, 55,000, 62,000 and 69,000. The other expenses have been absorbed substantially by the project. And if we just compute the operating income analysis, we can say that Ms. Project Manager's Mr. X project is doing a performing and absolutely brilliant manner because it's giving a positive and increase in the net profit uh, sorry operating income profit and the gross margin every quarter on quarter that means his operational efficiencies are gone up he is doing a great job in the operating part of the project operation of the project because he's able to achieve economies of scale and other standardization of the product process and all those things which are ultimately leading to an increase in the better utilization of the project resources and giving an op positive operating income quarter on quarter even his consumption of the goods, direct materials used in the project, direct labor involved projects, the operational efficiency of that has increased because the gross margin is also going higher, is also increasing quarter on quarter. That means project manager Mr. X is able to achieve operational efficiencies on a higher scale. But because of this other expenses, now what can be this other expenses? It can be a common allocation of the head office cost. It can be a common allocation of the interest involved. Supposing the company has uh, got in a big revenue, we has got multiple projects and it needed to take up a huge loan which needed which was needed to finance its assets, employ more manpower and whatnot.